Hello everyone, my name is Ron Gupta, Assistant Professor Kite Gazebat. In this lecture, we are going to discuss how to deal transportation, transportation delay in the control system. In this system, this is the sampler, this is the system function and this is the transportation delay, TD. And transport, transportation delay may be integer or may be fractional. This is the integer part. And this is the fractional part. Fractional means it may be in 0 0.1, 0 0.2, any value. And integer value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like that. Okay. Now, what is the value of Ys? Ys will be equal to multiplication of these blocks into R star S. Because this is RT in Laplace transform, this is RS. After sampler, it will be converted into r star s now output is equal to r star s into gs into this okay if td transportation delay is integer as well as fraction then how to deal with the uh, transportation delay yz we have seen after putting s is equal to 1 upon t ln z y star s is yz r star s is rz this is pulse function and this is z function and this will be converted into z transform of this quantity okay and now if we assuming gs is equal to first order function 1 upon s plus a then yz upon rz is equal to z to the power minus n because here e key power minus snt into e key power minus s delta t and it may be written as e key power ts to the power minus n and this is z z to the power minus n into z transform of remaining part remaining part is gs into e key power minus delta ts okay this now how to find z transform of this quantity first of all we have to find inverse laplace inverse laplace of 1 upon s plus a e to the power minus a t ut then using delay property of laplace transform you can write this function is e key power minus a t minus this this is the delay part okay t minus delta t into u t minus delta t after that put t is equal to nt mapping between continuous time into and discrete time now Formula of Z transform is n is equal to 0 to infinity fn into z to the power minus n. This is fn, okay, into z to the power minus n. Now, expand the summation. First value is n is equal to 0. n is equal to 0. u is minus delta, but unit step does not exist for negative values. That's why this value will be 0. Second value will be u positive u positive means value 1 because uh, in, uh, step function exists for positive values means this value will be 1 this value will be 1 now it will be uh, represented as e key power minus a into 1 minus delta 1 minus delta is equal to m 1 minus delta is represented as m m is the modified z transform coefficient e key power minus amt into z inverse plus e to the power minus amt into e key power minus at z to the power minus 2 and so on. Now we can take common e key power minus amt into z inverse and we get this. We get this. If any student will find modified z transform of 1 upon s plus a then we will get modified z transform of 1 upon s plus a will be equal to e key power minus amt into z inverse upon 1 minus e key power minus at z inverse but remember this is the generalized deviation in which we have taken integer value also so, in a modified Z transform, we get this. But in generalized formula, Z to the power minus n is 
also included. Thank you.